Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you and the messages might be a little bit general, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information for your situation. All right, let's see what's going on with Cancer. For the second half of May, what are the overall energies? And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Ooh, oh, ooh, okay, wow. We have Bound and we have Twin Flame. Okay, so this is just representative of a very strong, very powerful connection. It could be a divine soulmate, all right? Don't get stuck on the labels. Um, it's just talking about the strength and the intensity of a connection and how many lessons there are to learn um, from this particular relationship, okay? So this just means that, yes, there is a lot that you are learning from this connection and the connection feels very powerful. Now we also have the bound card, okay? So there's a lot of fear um, involved in the situation. This could oftentimes be um, an addiction, it could be an attachment, it could even be that there is um, another situation here, could be a person, could be a situation, doesn't matter, where there is either codependency or or just a negative attachment. Okay, so we're going to get into it and see what this is about. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <clears throat> for mid-May. What are the energies? All right, let's see. For you, we have, ooh, starting off with the tower. Okay, death, ooh. And the Nine of Cups. All right, so it feels like, you know, there is a situation, obviously this connection that feels that powerful, something that you really, really wanted, something you were really, really wishing for, feeling like it could completely fulfill you. And at the moment, I feel like you are going through a major um, breakthrough or a major crisis, which is leading you to feel like this is done. Let's see for them. We are gonna clarify, of course. It's the Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress. All right, so this person is feeling a lot of pain at the moment, a lot of heartbreak, and it could be because you're feeling like this is over, there's this tower that's happening, which means that, you know, the whole situation just feels like it is being destroyed, it is being crumbled, like it's just done. Um, this is causing a lot of pain as well as a lot of um, frustration in the other person here who also does hold you in a very high regard. All right, this person feels like you are their person, you are their empress. And I find it very interesting that we have the empress right under the nine of cups, showing how much you want this, how you felt about this. <clears throat> I mean, even if you feel like you don't want it now, well, there was a point in time when you did. And it's being also reflected on their end as well. Let's see what is coming up. We have the seven of wands, the fool, and the hermit okay so i do see a little bit of resistance here with the seven of wands <clears throat> um possibly a little bit of defensiveness maybe just from the other person's side maybe just from your side maybe on both ends but i do also see this leading up to some kind of taking a risk maybe or just really trying to see things <clears throat> in a different way and take a new path when it comes to the situation. But with the Hermit being here, I still see a little bit of distance possibly between the two of you, just for now, okay? This is, this is just for the second half of May, um, give or take a little bit. So for a final message here, we have the Queen of Swords, which does talk about it does talk about clarity and it also talks about detachment, which is actually a good thing because like I said, that bound card can talk about a negative attachment. 
And then we have the Queen of Swords here as the final message saying, you know, detaching a little bit, withdrawing a little bit might actually serve a higher purpose in this connection. So <clears throat> let's clarify. Let's clarify that tower in your energy. Okay, so we have the, the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. All right, Cancer, what is going on here? I feel like you you are the you are really feeling the intensity of this ending. Um, I feel like you are very very determined at the moment to really move forward. It almost feels like you are rushing the process a little bit. Again, this has to do with the fact that this other person here, or you maybe even okay, depending. Again, roles can be reversed. That somebody here did not was not able to offer this love um, to the other person for whatever reason. And because of that, I feel like you are really feeling the intensity of this ending um, because it was something that you really wanted, because there was such a powerful connection between the two of you. And you are very determined to just really, you know, make a change here, to really just be like, I am done. <laughs> I need to move away from whatever it is here that is creating so much drama in my life. Let's see death. The chariot and the ten of swords. Wow, you're serious. You're serious here. This is really quick. Um, movement forward towards this ending and it's painful it's definitely not easy it's definitely not easy but the message that I'm also getting here is that rushing the process where you might actually bypass certain steps or um, <clears throat> you know not really fully process certain emotions it might actually you know lead to this being more difficult than what it has to be um, so yeah, make sure you take your time to really allow yourself to, you know, process what it is that you are, that you are going through, what you are feeling, what you are experiencing. There's no need to, to rush through it. We can sometimes feel like if we rush, then it'll just be over more quickly and that way we'll, you know, um, be pain free sooner rather than later but that's not the case because when you do that you end up suppressing the pain and then it just creeps back up on you and it and it can just get drawn out so this is all about healing here allowing yourself to heal from this and I mean you you don't know this does not necessarily mean that it's a permanent ending but this is what is being um, called by the universe for for the moment for the time being. Let's see what is going on with them. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. All right, the Magician and the Ten of Wands. All right, so I feel like this is somebody who has really been manifesting a very difficult situation for their own self. I mean, and this is usually the case for most of us and for many, many situations, but not always, okay? Um, but in this particular case, this person, I feel, has been doing something that just creates this pain over and over and over and over and over again and keeps them in this state where it's just so hard for them to release some kind of there's an energy here that needs to be released. Something needs to be let go of, which is something that is completely under their own control is what I'm trying to say. You know, like, for example, sometimes, you know, there are situations that really do not depend on us. All right. They are, you know, that other people are doing it, doing certain things that we have no control over. We always have control over our own reactions, of course, but we don't always have control over a situation and what happens in that situation that we are involved in. 
So what I'm trying to say is that this person does have control, but the way they've been going about it is, um, is where they just keep, I feel like it's like a repeating energy here and causing, causing themselves to feel this pain when really that there's just a responsibility that they feel they have that they don't have that they can actually release or some kind of a burden. Let me see the Knight of Wands. It's early in the morning for me, <laughs> which is why I feel like I might be having a little bit of a hard time um, expressing expressing the messages here a little bit. All right, so we have Temperance and the Knight of Wands again. So that's two times the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this person is being overly dramatic. They're seeing the situation as something that is a lot more difficult or they're seeing this challenge as something a lot more difficult than what it is. But there's a reason for that anyway. Okay, this is something that they need to work through. This is something that they have to discover for their for their own selves. They're having a hard time finding that balance and understanding that, hey, you know, I don't need, things don't need to be so extreme. They don't need to be so dramatic. I don't need to be so frustrated. I don't need to be getting so angry. And I feel like they're mostly getting angry with their own self. And it's all about finding that that happy medium where, yeah, you know, things are not perfect, but things are not as as bad or as difficult as I think they are either. And I feel like once they reach that understanding and that level of balance, they will be able to take some action in order to release that, that Ten of Wands. Let's clarify the Empress. The Empress again. I love how that happens. And the Three of Swords again. That's plain and simple. This person is heartbroken over you. Heartbroken. It may have been their own doing. As I said, I did call that out. All right. It is their own doing. But this is just how they're feeling. All right. A lot of pain. A lot of pain in regards to you and... Again, they see you're you're that person for them. You're that person that they just know deep down inside that that they would want to be with. All right. So let's let's see what is coming up. Let's see the 7 of wands. The 9 of cups and the page of pentacles. Yeah, so there is a little bit of um resistance here when it comes to what it is that the that the both of you want i feel like this is actually for the both of you i feel like you both um have a wish for this to work out in the end you both have a wish for each other but you're each protecting yourselves for different reasons and this is something that again i feel like these triggers these um obstacles these challenges that you're both going through they are meant to help you get on your right path. They help to put you on a new path where you will eventually be more balanced, more grounded. And that's going to come from, you know, learning through this experience. So allow yourself to learn. Allow yourself to see what the lesson in this might be. What are you learning about yourself? And focus on that. I feel like the more you focus on that, the more you will be able to release um, ego and self-defenses. Because a lot of this resistance, a lot of these self-defense um, mechanisms, they're not against the other person. They're oftentimes against our own self. And so once you are able to notice them and to realize that they are there, that's when it is when it becomes easier to actually strip them away. And when you do that, that is when you become more and more who you truly are. You're able to embody who you truly are. And that is part of the lesson here, okay? Especially with these um, really, really strong connections. So let's see the full, because I do see this putting you on a new path here.
the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so this is actually, I feel, once you are able to do what I just said, um, at least be able to notice, okay, the self-defense mechanisms within your own self, that is automatically pushing you onto this new path where it's like the two of you are like learning from each other. You are discovering truths about about each other, which also helps you to see truths within your own selves. And this is like a type of, of collaboration, at least on an energetic level, regardless of whether you are physically together or not. And this is what is leading to this self-discovery here with the Hermit. Really, really being aware of one's own self, which is the ultimate lesson. And it brings you more into alignment with your own self, first and foremost, but then it can also bring the two of you into alignment. So let's see the hermit. All right, the two of swords and the five of cups. Yeah, you know, so there are still some things to figure out um, here within your own self, which only makes sense because, because you are going through this tower moment, okay, right now. But what I'm seeing here is that going within, what it's going to help you by being possibly in a little bit of distance from this situation, it's going to help you to deal with the past. It's going to help you to deal with all the negative emotions that keep you stuck to the past or to an old way of being. It's going to help you to resolve a stagnancy and help you to move forward. It's like it's going to open your eyes to new possibilities rather than just staying stuck in the old. And I feel like, I actually feel like this is um, mostly pertaining to the other person here who has been manifesting the same thing over and over again, but it definitely can also apply to you as well. All right, so this is all about being able to emotionally detach yourself to the point where you actually can focus on your own self for the time being all right that queen of swords having clarity over the situation rather than being in this tower and that ten of swords energy where you just feel like you know you're the one who was um betrayed and you may have been you may have been but what is the lesson in that rather than focusing on the betrayal focus on what it's helping you to learn about yourself okay that's the message that that i am getting here very strongly so cancer if this resonated let's get your final message all right and we have partnership Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build a talented support team. Okay, so this is all about that partnership. This is all about what I was talking about down here. That it's like you're working in a collaboration with this person, at least on an energetic level, where it is helping you to move on to this new path. It is helping you to become more authentic and to realize your full potential and who you truly are. All right, and the same thing is happening for them. So it's interesting because, you know, you might be, as I said, at a distance. There might be um, a separation here possibly, but that partnership is never broken. It's still there because you're still working together to learn all of these things about yourself and for your, for your own growth, okay, which could ultimately lead to the two of you being together as well. Okay, that's always a possibility here. So, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.